Blessings, beautiful beings. It is an honor to connect with you. Perhaps for the first time, or maybe this is us uniting in frequency once again. May we take this moment, regardless of when you are receiving this transmission, knowing that moments are infinite in time and space, to align ourselves, to allow all energies and frequencies to come to center, to resonate in harmony within us, and simply allowing yourself to take this time, even just a few moments of breathing, of intentional awareness, connecting to the light, being here, present, with love, everyone tapping in, all so beautiful. Simply just doing this for a few moments here, resonating, marinating in this frequency of bliss, actually quantumly aligns your timelines, aligns your energies, organizes situations externally beyond you to benefit and flow in harmony with your chosen state, which is here right now, us here, fully present. <laughs> Allowing all the energies to tap in. So I wanted to come on here. DNA upgrades are a very, uh, very powerful and very popular topic right now in the spiritual community. And I'm actually curious, is that just my realm of perception? My realm of perception. And then also I'm seeing it manifest tangibly in the physical too. I personally have been talking about DNA upgrades and how our DNA is literally shifting and evolving and not just reconnecting the old strands, but actually evolving and shifting to a higher frequency and therefore encoding and reconnecting in a different way. I've been talking about this for a long time, but it's like fully happening right here, right now to the collective, to majority. It's like expanding. So I'm curious if you have all been getting little synchronistic messages and forms of confirmation that your DNA is casually, casually evolving and upgrading. And I say casually because it's kind of like hilarious. My human thinks that's so funny because it's not casual at all. Like literally every moment is a miracle. The way that your body is working right now, the way that your mind and your heart and your soul is uniting in order to even slightly comprehend and understand what I am saying right now, that shrine, that union is required to understand this. So that alone is a miracle. So it's like casual, but it's like so not casual. <laughs> Such an epic moment to be alive. Thank you for choosing. So yes, DNA upgrades. So how does this reflect? So essentially, as I just mentioned, it's not even necessarily that our DNA, many are familiar with the 12 stranded DNA, or some say 24 stranded, there are many different forms of perception. And also remember, because there are different realms, realities and timelines and based off of belief, that is what unites you to that particular form of awareness and truth. 24 strands may be exactly what it is for some and 12 may be for others. And that is perfect to them. But essentially, many are aware of how our DNA used to be different, how we used to be more connected, how we used to be more empowered, essentially, as a species. And whether we were in different form, or whether we were in this form, or whether we've evolved from that form that we once were, is up to your own belief. I have my own personal beliefs, but essentially what I'm getting guided and called to share for the collective, for food for thought, you can take what resonates and simply allow this perception, this perspective to grant you permission into expanding your own. So taking what resonates, but essentially I have been shown in what I've been seeing over the past few years on a spiritual, energetic, and tangible material level with myself, my loved ones, and people, clients, people who come into my life that I don't necessarily meet physically, it's shown in that way as well. Essentially, our DNA is re reorganizing and adjusting and shifting its frequency. So it's that the actual cellular structure of our inner DNA is shifting to a higher resonance. Its vibratory rate is increasing. Therefore, 
the DNA, as it reconnects, it doesn't need all that it once needed. It's kind of like because we are evolving and we as a collective have chosen to ascend and shift into this higher timeline and everyone's choosing based off of free will and that's affecting everything always, but essentially the divine plan always happens. Based on that, the way that our DNA is upgrading is different per person and everyone's going to experience it differently. Now, the way that we experience these upgrades physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and energetically, the way that we experience them is based off of what messages and what lessons and what encodings are purposed for us on an individual level to experience in order to understand, understand, apply, create medicine for, and shift, alchemize, transmute, and thus become a new being from an evolved, more advanced, ascended version of self, essentially. And that is this process of enlightenment and it continues, it's eternal. So it's that our evolution is happening on a macro to micro level. So as our own encoded DNA is shifting and upgrading in vib vibratory frequency, so is the earth. So is everything and really everything in between that as well. Everything is affected. It's from micro to macro always. It's, it's always. it's always connected. So it's knowing that, knowing that, okay, this could be a reflection of something that's happening on a bigger level or on a smaller level and not being too attached to the phases and the process because it's knowing it's always evolving and essentially things are temporary. And that's why we can be like, oh, wait, this is actually beautiful in some way. Or how can I have gratitude for this knowing that it's temporary? knowing that it's temporary. So essentially, as we are experiencing these DNA upgrades, it affects us, as mentioned, mentally, spiritually, energetically, physically, and thus our, so how does that reflect in like a, a human, human, physical, tangible, material? Uh, oh, I'm seeing so many good comments. Okay, I will come to these. How does that affect us on a material level in the physical realm? Essentially, our perceptions are changing. The ways that we do things are changing. So the way that you, your own personal formula, the way that you go about your day, the way that you do things, the way that you prepare yourself, the way that you consume things, the way that you feed yourself, the way that you nurture and nourish yourself, the way that you treat yourself, what you surround yourself with, due to the DNA upgrades, that is what is going to be changing and shifting and rearranging in you. And essentially, if you are allowing yourself to fully experience these shifts and not rejecting your own impulse to change or to do something new or simply just to be and not react or respond, it's always different. And that's like the key, actually. If you allow yourself to do that, then you will sink into the correct timeline, and you will embody a new way. And thus, when you embody a new way, when you do things differently, you also perceive things differently. You respond to things in a different way because you have a different energetic foundation and encoding inside of you because you've honored your own integrity and you've honored your own truth. So when you have that, that is an eternal essence that you actually carry with you everywhere you go. And that shines and emanates throughout your pores because you have honored your own integrity and your own truth. And thus, that is you honoring your reason for being here. And that is being in service to all the whole collective as well. So it connects everything. So when you perceive things differently and you take things differently, then your reality actually changes. You literally rewrite your reality in that moment when you perceive things differently. Oh, wait. Mm, okay. All right. We're, we're bringing this here. Say if someone is offering you an insult and th they're, they're trying to insult you and trying to do this and, and you can perceive it as that, like that was, that was pretty rude. Like I, could, I for sure could take offense to that. Say someone is trying to do that to you, but you instead, just like a gift, if someone offers you a gift and you refuse to take it, then who does the gift belong to? The giver. It belongs to that person still. Do the same with the insult. Oh, that's not mine. Thank you for offering that, but uh, that's actually not for me. Or, oh, that's actually a great critique 
and I can take part of that. You know, the other part was due to your own distortion and that I don't need to take on because it's literally invalid in my own personal reality and experience. But that critique actually can help to advance me. Thank you. Thank you. Or it can be providing you clarity. Huh, that had no resonance at all whatsoever. I see myself better now. I get it now. I get it. It literally instantly shifts the situation from it being a potential hazardous or unideal or negative situation into a positive one. And when you claim your power like that, when you honor your own integrity and you choose to perceive things differently and you allow yourself to simply just like opening up the space to and you can physically like kind of like sit back if you need to in order to do that. Maybe you don't know how to respond like that. First of all, then just be like, okay, wait, 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 I'm getting triggered or I feel the energy is coming. Physically sit back for a second and maybe breathe and let it come to you. Allow it to come to you. If we are all to do this and we all start shifting our realities, first of all, when you do that to that person, that is instantly showing them, oh, whoa, love is an option here. Love is an option here. Wow, harmony is an option here. Huh? Friends, connections, support love, happiness, enjoyment, bliss, that is an option here? Yes. And that's what we are choosing, you know, individually on an individual level. So essentially when you do that, it affects that person. That person takes that with them. You shine that essence, angels applauding, honoring you, rewarding you with miracles and perfect alignment in your timeline because you have honored yourself and honored the other being. And that affects everyone because it continues to ripple out. So essentially, these DNA upgrades are not just some spiritual woo-woo, just like your DNA is upgrading. And it's like they can't see the DNA, so we can just pretend it's upgrade. No, it's like really happening. And often people feel this on a physical and tangible level as well. Headaches, needing to rest extra, needing to sleep extra, needing different nutrients, a different form of nourishment, requiring a new lifestyle, requiring new people in your life, requiring a new form of identity and expression, whatever it is, honor these things, these impulses, these energies that are coming in for you and clarify, obviously, always, if it is in resonance with the heart. And if it is, allow yourself to explore them. Because essentially, as we are evolving and advancing, it's necessary for us to experience different energies, perhaps in the form of people or relationships or embodiments or roles or career or expression or whatever the form it is. We are to experience these different forms of energies so that we can acquire certain encodings, so that we can have clarity, so that we can have knowing, so that we can activate things within each other, so that we can share love, so that we can have the full experience that we came to earth to experience. So allow yourself to experience these things and it's getting less and less appealing to attach to the control or like the the certain um, like projection of how something should be or should look or should manifest. I'm curious, I would love to hear in the comments, are you feeling more of an openness and a freeness and allowing things to simply just be as they are and honor them as they are? Because the more that we do that, that actually allows for everything to display itself and reveal and show itself in the way that it actually is purposed to do. And if you are not yet feeling that um, ability to let go and to release, then call it in, call it in. Do, do some um, energetic breath work exercises and energy movements. So yeah, this DN these DNA upgrades are happening for us on a tangible, oh, I see so many, yes, are happening on uh, unbothered, yes, detaching, yes. It's that we are detaching from the illusion, from the temporary space of how things are because it's like a very temporary and volatile, shifting, transmutational energy happening right now. So the more that we allow ourselves to explore these different versions of ourselves, the more that we can clarify and remember and come back to who we really are. Right now, we are in more connection and resonance with the heart frequency, with the soul's truth. So the projections, the illusions, the matrix 
control that was once strong and powerful um, and, you know, has been a thing, it no longer has that strength anymore. It no longer has that power anymore. So know that what you are feeling called to do and what you are feeling called to honor inside of your body and being is of resonance. Your intuition is stronger. That which you are feeling called to is more of resonance and harmony. Essentially, the projections and calls of the negative polarization does not have the same power anymore. The scales have shifted fully, where the light now has more power and is stronger and is supporting and more prevalent and present. So it's knowing that, okay, this has got to be best case scenario. Okay. How do I shift this into a positive situation? The more that you ignite that energy, the more it will amplify and multiply and perhaps shift a situation that was in a timeline supposed to be negative into a positive one where you instantly receive the encodings, the medicine, the harmony, the karmic agreement and completion and connection and reason for experiencing that particular experience quicker. It just comes. It's like instant when you can show something gratitude, when you can show something love. And essentially that's what I was talking about in my recent live a few days ago, when you are showing things love and when you are showing things gratitude, they can shift for you. They can change for you almost instantly. They literally have to take on a new identity. When you choose to see something that is trying to display itself as negative, whether it's an actual tangible thing or an energy, if you choose to see it with beauty, if you choose to see it with gratitude, or simply just an open mind as to, hmm, somehow this is working out best case scenario, that variable, that essence, that energy actually has to instantly shift in order to meet your chosen projection. That's essentially how it is. And it's not that it changes that and it's manipulating things. No, that's the version of that thing you are choosing to experience and receive. You are just choosing your own timeline. That energy, that person, that essence can continue to be whatever it wants beyond that. But it's most likely that you choosing to see it with beauty or gratitude and not respond to it with maybe the same energy or a negative energy of your own. It's actually allowing it to be influenced positively as well. So we are like these wizards. We are like these magical beings, truly. And we have the ability to positively influence our reality. And that's like literally what we came here to do. And part of it is acknowledging that and allowing yourself to embody that, giving yourself permission to have that confidence and that knowing and that trust. Like, no, nah, I really came here to do some shit. Like, I, I really came here to do some stuff. And that's like what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what you are doing. That's what you are doing, even if it may seem casual, even if it may seem just like a little random situation or has nothing to do. How could this have anything to do with the light or ascension? It all does. It all does. It is literally all divine. It is all divine. So know that you have this power. You are this magical being of light. You have this ability to choose and to instantly influence your reality. Thus all realities. And that's what we are doing. Sending you all so much love. Oh, so beautiful. Mm, wow. I see so many 3330. Oh, it was okay. Beautiful. Wow. So many divine confirmations and um, angel numbers coming through as well. So listen to the signs, listen to the signs. And they're also getting more specific now the angel signs, the synchronicities, the confirmations, the guidance that you are receiving, it is getting more specific now. So it's knowing that when you receive something, it most likely has multiple layers to it. It always has multiple layers to it. And it may not reveal all of its own layers right then in that second, in that situation, but know that you will remember when it is time for you to remember. And you don't want to remember before it's too early because then you may not grasp the information or may unintentionally influence the situation or distract it in a certain way. So it's knowing, it's trusting, and it's listening. And when you receive signs or synchronicities or you hear a ringing, you get a call, 
Simply sitting back, breathing, and still continuing the essence and the energy and that which you were doing previ previously, but simply just allowing space and allowing the ability for the messages to come through and to receive for you personally. Mm, I'm personally getting a call, so this is time. Ah, going to go meditate, and I've been actually listening to um, my starseed affirmations that I recently released, and they are so, so powerful, and it may sound funny to like hear me say, like, they're so powerful. I love listening to the affirmations I created, but it really is actually a channel and everything written in there, all of those affirmations, everything is a full on channel. And even just like the energy and the essence that comes through in order to transmit, it is a full channel. So I kind of get to listen to it from like a different angle as well. So yes, if you want to increase your dreams, if you want to remember past lives, if you want to remember who you are, if you want to remember this life, your starseed connections, your lineages, or simply just whatever is beneficial to you and going to be helpful for you, listening to the starseed affirmations before you go to sleep or before you meditate is so, so powerful. You will for sure remember your dreams if you listen to that before you go to sleep. It's so powerful. So yes, I'm getting the call to go and do that now and to listen to those, activate my own DNA. And yes, know that this is a very powerful time. You have chosen such a beautiful time to incarnate here on earth and we are so grateful. We love you and we are here to support you. We are here always for you. So know that, know that. And we, as in the essence of love, of divinity, of compassion, your soul tribe, that is in tangible form here on earth and that is also in the higher realms. You are never alone. We are here. We love you. Infinite blessings to you. May you receive multiple miracles, planting miracles in all realities of those who are tapping in and tuning in, whether it is any time or space of reality. If you are receiving this moment, planting seeds of miracles, beautiful blessings to manifest in your life. And so it is. Love you all. Blessings, blessings. So grateful. Mm-hmm.